This is gonna be a quick video on why I currently don't recommend the Night Dive Remaster of Quake. Let's start with the positives. I now don't have to buy the mission packs. The new effects are nice and the fact that I can turn them off is even nicer. The inclusion of a new original episode is also pretty nice. Now let's get to the cons and there are a lot of them. First, the Pavesda Net login stops the demo, so the menu uses an ugly console background. You could say that this is a netpack, but I don't care, it annoys me and it's my video. The view model FOV is tied to your normal FOV, which makes the weapons look really bad. Apparently this is getting fixed soon, but I'm making this video now and not soon. There's no way to fully disable the dynamic shadows, these are still here. The worst part about all of this? They ruined the movement, which is literally one of the main reasons why people still play Quake. This Discord message explains it best. TLDR, things like strafe jumping are wonky and not fun. We still don't know if this is a bug or if it's intended to stay this way. One thing that will probably stay is Nightmare. The Nightmare difficulty was altered. The monsters are, as far as I can tell, no longer as fast as they were, and the ogre doesn't spam grenades at an unreasonable rate. But in exchange, your health is limited to 50, with possible mega health overcharge to 150. Why alter a huge part of the original instead of adding an extra difficulty for this? Another thing, you can't bind weapons normally and you have to use the console. It was like this in the original, but if you're gonna remaster a game, make something so integral to deathmatch accessible for everyone. This concludes my rumble on the Quake remaster. I'm quite disappointed and I hope this is a blood fresh supply situation where most of this gets fixed, so we can finally have a Quake experience without any compromises.